Yeah, that's one problem. They, they got too much horsepower when they nailed the gas off that slow corner. That was Chris Shannon that lost the rear end just a little bit as he came off the corner. They get through the S's this time. Not really any problems as they head back towards turn 10 and then turn 11 at Jerry Pond. Got to give a call to Chris Shannon, guys, making only his third ever Southwest Tour start as we have a car in the Thule's over in the, he comes back on the course over against the tire barrier. Looks to be the car number nine, or pardon me, car number 17, the car back on the course. Another car spinning, that's Doug George in the car number 37, the Atwater, California driver, former winner here. Car slipping and sliding here on this 2.52 mile road course. Started to say a minute ago, you gotta give a call to that car number 31, Chris Shannon. Only his third Southwest Tour start for the 25 year old driver. If you look at our leader there, Ron Moore today. Shannon being shown back in the third position. I'll show you again what happened just moments ago as these cars came down in the fastest part of the course. One car sliding sideways. We will bounce off that tire barrier, ruffle a few tires, head it over toward the ESPN trucks there in the compound and gets back off the grass and heads back for turn 11. Jerry Punch, did you see that corner worker jump for safety when he came <laughs> down through there? He said, I believe in here. And I tell you what, when they come down through the S's, and lose control, I'm leaving here, too. I want you to understand that. Right, Dave. What kind of speed are they carrying out of turn eight by you, Benny, as they head for nine and ten? Too fast for me to stay here if they get in any kind of trouble, <laughs> I'll tell you. 